Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. You're all you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me Alana. For this video, I wanted to do a quick uh, kind of beginning of the season, beginning of summer book haul. I realized that like the book hauls I do are kind of very condensed of the books that I receive over like months. And I want to try and not do that because <laughs> those videos are very long and I feel bad making people watch those long videos. Plus, they're very long to edit. <laughs> so I figured I would start trying to separate my book hauls a little bit more so that way uh, the videos aren't super long. These are the books that I got uh, over the beginning of the season. So May-ish, beginning of June-ish kind of season so I figured uh, it would be fun to film this and show you what I've gotten so far. The majority of these I bought myself because I have no self-control. Uh, some of these I got from the Fairy Loot book box and some of these I was given. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So the first book I have on this list is Wicked Fox by Cat Cho. I bought this because I was buddy reading it with Chanel <laughs> and then everything happened with the protests and everything and we kind of just both decided we were gonna put this on pause for a minute just because we were both kind of not in a really good headspace to really continue this. Um, I'm hoping maybe we can try again later this summer and try and finish it because I did enjoy the amount that I read so we'll see <laughs> especially because I know the second one's coming out so I would like to at least finish this and see how I feel before the second one comes out so that way I know if I want to continue on or not in this uh, trilogy series whatever it's going to be the next book I have is Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy I got this in the I think it was the March fairy loot box I I'm excited to read this because it has this like fantasy-ish do or die feel whereas like a secret society of women who have to kill their lovers and stuff like that it sounds interesting. I also love this edition because it's super sparkly and it's signed um, by the author so yeah also I didn't know <laughs> but fairy loot books apparently have these like special dust jackets too I had no idea so that's how slow I am but yeah I'm excited to get this when I can um I haven't heard anything about this yet so I'm wondering if anybody has read this and enjoyed it or not uh please let me know if you have down below I have two copies of this book on accident uh the one I bought and one I was sent so they are The Betrothed by Kierkegaard <laughs> so the day this came out I went and I bought it because I'm friends with Kira and I love her and I wanted to be supportive of her book so I went out and I bought a copy from my store and I still haven't read it but I'm hoping to eventually get to it this summer but then Teresa sent me a signed copy of the book too so <laughs> now I have two copies I think I might just end up giving this one away so we'll see but I thought that was just kind of funny because I was not expecting to get that. The next book I grabbed was House of Dragons by Jessica Cluis. I have been waiting the majority of this year for this book to come out because it sounds so interesting and it has dragons and I honestly haven't seen a lot of books coming out with dragons lately. I could be wrong, I could be just not looking in the right places but this one sounded so intriguing so it gives me six of crows vibes almost except at where like six of, six of crows is like a band of villains come together this one is like the band of villains fight to the death for a throne for a dragon throne and they're dragons so <laughs> i'm excited for this i literally am praying that i can get to it this this summer because it sounds so good and i just feel like it'll be like a 
really good fantasy. So the next book I grabbed was Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. So I've been waiting for this book to come out in paperback because I have the first one in paperback and I really love the first one and I wanted the covers to match too. So I'm excited to get to this one. So it takes place in the same world as Prince Charming. Uh, but it's from the perspective of Millie and Flora and Flora was the sister-in-law of the main character from the first book. I can't remember her name right now, but i am been wanting to read this. I've heard good things about it, so I'm really excited to read this this summer. I think I'm going to be putting this in a TBR for a readathon, so we'll see. The next book I bought was a long time coming because I really needed this in order to finish this duology, <laughs> and it was Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. I have Six of Crows, I've read it, and I've been waiting to get Crooked Kingdom. I don't know why I've been waiting, I was just kind of like, oh, I'll get it when I get it, and then I finally just decided to get it because I think my store didn't have any of these copies like the sprayed edges copies and I finally saw that we did so I just got it while we while I could because my six of crows is sprayed edged and so I was like I want this to match because it has to match so I'm eventually excited to get this I'm a little nervous because of everything that happened in the first book and so yeah and Matthias is trash just so you all know the next book I grabbed was The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. I've heard so many good things, so many people have raved about this book. So when I saw that my store had it, I finally just bought it because like, I didn't even know we had these. So I'm really excited. Also, this book is so big. <laughs> I was kind of not expecting how big this was, but yeah, I'm super excited to check this out though. They already look so adorable. Like, look at this guy. He looks so cool. I want one. The next one is an arc of More Than Maybe by Erin Hahn. So I got this from a book swap that I did on Facebook. I had an arc that someone wanted and so I swapped that for this because I've been really, really wanting this. I have an arc of her first book, so which is why I kind of really wanted this one. I'm so excited to read this. I think Erin Hahn writes such good stories about some broken characters and I love how so far in both of her stories she's instilled music and like how she's made music like the important thing in the story that helps these characters grow and so I'm excited to see how she does it in this book too. The next book I also got from the April Fairy Loot and that is Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. I need to look up her name so I can pronounce that better. I don't really know much about this. I, it sounded intriguing when I first read it. I think it's like a, the girl is like a memory thief or something. But I think this cover is so beautiful and the edges are so beautiful too. And so I'm really excited to jump in. I feel like I've gotten really into fantasy this year. So I'm intrigued to check this out and see. And then the last book I got was A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. Okay, I read An Ember in the Ashes and I like died because everything happened and I was like, I need the second book, but I was like, I'll wait, I'll totally wait. And literally the next day I went to Barnes and Noble and I was like, I'm not gonna wait. And I bought the book <laughs> and I'm so excited to get to this and I can because where things left off in An Ember in the Ashes, I'm just so intrigued and so nervous and excited to see what else happens and I don't know if I'm gonna try and finish it this year because I know the last book comes out this year but I'm gonna at least try and catch up and see how it goes. Alright so that is my beginning of summer book haul. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you did. Please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, whatever you want to say, please leave all that down below. If you're not good in commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. <music>